What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Assembling Arsenal. Now, I'm quite impressed with myself. I had been slacking so bad on Assembling Arsenal for a little while. There was a point where I think I uploaded maybe two in the space of two to three weeks. I was absolutely shocking at it. But I had requests from people to upload it more frequently and I said to you guys, I will upload it every other day. And that is basically what I've done for about 10 days now. Maybe you've got five episodes in the last 10 days or so and I've been trying to really power through it. Now, uh, as you can see in the background, I'm just looking looking through all the stats the players I said in the last episode I would look at that record there for Podolski and it goes up even more during this uh, episode but uh, basically if you guys want a fast and reliable coin service check out utcointraders.com there's a link to them in the description down below as always but anyway uh, as you can see look at that there by Podolski basically 73 and 51 Shamak's got 36 in 37 which is basically a goal a game Drew's for, uh, 34 in, 40, uh, in 38 rather so basically the two like secondary strikers have got about a goal a game and Podolski's getting about one and a half again, which is pretty impressive because you guys know how much I love him and think he is by far the best, well not by far, but very high up there, one of the best strikers on the game. He's so OP, I, I'd prefer him to Royce, I'd prefer him to most strikers, he is just ridiculously good. Now, uh, we get into his first game against a very, very good silver team and in, and in all honesty, he did embarrass me. His pace was just too much for my Vermaelen and uh, you'd think Vermaelen and Koscielny at the back would be able to deal with it, but not at all. My Yuka at Bonlahor were just absolutely annihilating them and were constantly just beating me on the through ball and just getting getting like through on goal, getting one-on-ones with my goalie and left me in a bit of a mess. Um he was 2-0 up at this point. I did pull one back here, a Podolski goal, of course. Who else? Uh, Podolski nodding that one home. Um, and also, another thing as well, Podolski's goal uh, ratio would be so much better if he didn't miss the penalties he'd taken. He's missed maybe six or seven penos in the whole time. So that would put him onto like 50, 80-odd uh, in 51, which would be crazy. But uh, they, he pulled it up to 3-1 there at that point. It was just getting worse and worse. And I did this absolutely stupid mistake. Gave the ball to basically him and gave him an easy, easy goal there. That made it 4-1. And I was just squandering chances and just being absolutely stupid, just wasting every chance I could. Now, um, Whilst this all plays out in the background as well, what I'm going to say, uh, obviously I, I do trading on this. Uh, I have been doing some trading as well, which uh, I'm not going to show you guys in this episode because I'm still waiting for some players to sell at the time of recording. Uh, but what I will be doing, hopefully next episode, we'll have a few players sold, we'll make a bit more money, and we'll be able to get closer to signing our next player. I've had a few people asking me things like, uh, what are we going to do with the Podolski situation? Obviously, we've got to get him left wing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I'd love to keep him up top. Maybe, uh, can you get seven chemistry if you play him left forward up top? Maybe we'd be able to do that. I'm not, not entirely sure, but I would ideally like to keep him up there. Obviously, we're going to have Walcott coming in eventually, but Podolski is so overpowered, I would still like to keep him in the mix at the top if we can find some way to do so. But, um, and this game is about to end now with ridiculously high goal scoring. It's 5 3 at this point, and he goes and picks up one more of me actually there scoring an absolute beaut in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just it's all going uh, relatively poorly considering our record before these two games, the one you're about to see as well, was 4 0 0 in Div 1 this season. We only needed two wins from the remaining six to get promotion. We then went into this next game, and it was such a dull game. I'm just going to show you the one highlight from it, the actual, uh, the only thing that happened, which was this goal, because I want to show uh, leave time for the monstrous game that we had afterwards, but uh, that was the only goal of the game. I came very close. I hit the bar a couple of times. It was just a really close game, and uh, that's all basically all I'm going to show in it before we go on to this next one. Uh, this is the team we're rocking out. We've dropped the left mid, Jovino, uh, in exchange for the right mid, man of the match one, and uh, just so that we could get more fitness for Chamber. We've got Kazola back in his preferred spot, and uh, that usually when I have Kazola and Cam and that lot, usually we play quite well. When we come up against this Brazilian team, 4-5-1, probably not going to be the best because of a few interesting uh, inclusions, Dante's not the best centre back of his normal card, Hulk can let you down, sometimes Robinho can let you down uh, I think it's Felipe Luiz, just that left back again, uh, it's a very very attacking team and will quite often leave him out of position and that did actually happen you bet it there, Podolski scored the first goal for us, 6 minutes in Lovely little cutback and a great left foot finish. That's one of the things about him. You can just hit it with that left foot. More often than not, it will hit the back of the net. That's what I find about players with left foots. They do seem to be very, very overpowered. I know quite a few left footed players that are very good. And he's also great at scoring headers. There's a second goal there almost instantly after the last one. Sixth and eighth minute there. And that made it 2-0. As you can see, we were definitely the better of the two teams come half time. And the second half it was exactly how we started the uh, started the first. Podolski there getting his hat trick in the 62nd minute. That's and then I was uh, fifth goal of the episode, I believe, uh, which is absolutely insane. And then um, 
DRB does make a massive mistake there of getting himself a second yellow, which uh, you might think may help him get towards a comeback. I know he's 3-0 down, but you know, never too late for anything to happen. But uh, luckily, we were able to survive without him, and uh, we actually got more goals, in fact. We were doing better without him than we did with him. Podolski here picking up a very nice right-footed goal. Not too often he scores with his right foot, but that was a great one for sure. And then he picks up one last goal here. I think the guy might have given up, like he wasn't really trying. I think he might even stop a player, I'm not sure. Um, oh, he just slid in. That was right. He didn't really care. And that meant we could make it 5-0. All five goals from Podolski. Seven or maybe even eight in this episode from Podolski. An absolutely insane little run. He is so, so good. Nothing else you can say about him other than that. Simply brilliant. Uh, at the end, I'm going to stick up his, his final stats. So I'm leaving him out at the end of this episode. But... Um, we need two more wins now. Oh, sorry, we needed three from the six. Now we just need two from the last three, which could be quite tricky. But uh, anyway, that is the end of this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching. If we get to 400 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.